the end of World War I brought about a significant shift in the geopolitical landscape of the world. The Paris Peace Conference of 1919 was convened to negotiate the terms of peace and the reorganization of Europe and the Middle East. The conference was attended by representatives of the victorious Allied powers and Germany, the defeated Central Power. The negotiations were difficult and complex, and the eventual outcome had far-reaching consequences for Europe and the world. In this article, we will explore the challenges faced by the negotiators and the difficult road to peace in 1919. The signing of the Armistice of Compigny on November 11, 1918, marked the end of World War I. The war had left Europe devastated, with millions dead and wounded, and economies shattered. The victorious Allied powers, led by Britain, France, and the United States, were determined to make Germany pay for its role in the war. They sought to impose harsh terms on Germany, including substantial reparations and territorial losses. The Paris Peace Conference was convened in January 1919 and was attended by representatives of the victorious Allied powers in Germany. The conference was chaired by the French Prime Minister Georges Clemenceau, British Prime Minister David Lloyd George, and U.S. President Woodrow Wilson. The negotiations were complex and difficult, with the various parties having differing goals and agendas. The victors were determined to punish Germany severely, while Germany sought to minimize the reparations and territorial losses. One of the most contentious issues was the question of reparations. The Allies sought substantial payments from Germany to compensate for the damage caused by the war. Germany argued that it could not afford to pay such large sums and that the demands were unjust. The negotiators struggled to find a compromise, and the issue remained unresolved for several years. Another major issue was the reorganization of Europe and the Middle East. The war had left many countries in a state of turmoil, and the Allies sought to redraw the map of Europe to reflect new political realities. The negotiations were complicated by conflicting claims and interests, and the final outcome was not always satisfactory. The difficult road to peace. The negotiations at the Paris Peace Conference were plagued by disagreements and disputes. The various parties had different goals and agendas, and compromise was often difficult to achieve. The conference was also marred by a lack of transparency and accountability, with many decisions being made behind closed doors. The difficult negotiations had a profound impact on the post-war world. The harsh terms imposed on Germany contributed to the rise of Adolf Hitler and the outbreak of World War II. The reorganization of Europe and the Middle East led to new conflicts and tensions, including the rise of nationalist movements and the disintegration of empires. The legacy of the Paris Peace Conference is a reminder of the challenges of peacemaking in the aftermath of a major conflict. Negotiating a fair and lasting peace requires a willingness to compromise, a commitment to transparency and accountability, and a recognition of the complex and diverse interests of the various parties involved. The Paris Peace Conference of 1919 was a pivotal moment in world history. The negotiations were complex and difficult, and the final outcome had far-reaching consequences for Europe and the world. The conference was marked by disagreements and disputes, and compromise was often difficult to achieve. The harsh terms imposed on Germany contributed to the rise of Adolf Hitler and the outbreak of World War II, and the reorganization of Europe and the Middle East led to new conflicts and tensions. The legacy of the Paris Peace Conference is a reminder of the challenges of peacemaking in the aftermath of a major conflict, and the importance of compromise, transparency, and accountability in achieving a fair and lasting peace.